There are a few things to look out for when you're sharing a cookbook from your desktop to your iPhone or iPad. Now I just have this single cookbook that I wish to share. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the browser and select the show cookbooks button and I can see that this is the only cookbook I currently have open. So I'm going to control click or right click on that and get up this context menu. One of the options there is to share this cookbook. So I select that and you will see that this turns on the transmitter on the desktop and I can now see that I'm sharing one cookbook. Now you have to make sure that you have your desktop and your iPhone or iPad connected to the same wireless network. Let's move over to my iPhone and we can have a look and see that I don't have any cookbooks showing in my cookbook list but I have an option to find remote cookbooks so I'm going to tap on that and now I can see that I have one cookbook available. So let's tap on one cookbook available. And this is the cookbook that I have available. I don't have any picture stock of that cookbook, so that's why the, the blank is there. Now I'm going to import that whole cookbook. So I don't need to tap again on it to have a look at the recipes. I need to just tap on the import button at the top here. So let's tap on that. And I've now got a green import button that has appeared. So tap on the green import button and it's now starting to import that cookbook off my desktop into my iPhone. I've now got a tick next to it saying it's done. So tap on the done button, tap on cookbooks to go back and now I can see the cookbook that I've just imported. Tap on that and these are the recipes that have come across in that cookbook.